Well, the guy in the plane, he died. But much like the organ grinding monkey, his brain is still alive. So, basically, Doctor is, um, gonna try to do what he did with the monkey. <sighs> and yet, considering that in the title is the word monster, I have a feeling stuff's gonna go down. Turns out, <clears throat> turns out the brain that they have is William H. Donovan's. The most illustrious brain in human history. Basically, he's a wanted criminal, and they stole his brain. Told you shit was gonna go down. Okay. Doctor is Dr. Muller. Um, the lady is Janice, and Guy is Patrick. Cool. That only took 29 minutes to finally hear their names. You know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, a cop gets put in the mix of things, and he is cop. Um... He basically comes t to believe that Dr. Muller is up to something, and that Dr. Muller did not act alone, a.k.a. he acted with Patrick and Janice. Bum, bum, bum. So, cop and cop's friend, because there's a lady with him, um... They basically decide to stay in Phoenix a few more hours. Just to see what's up. Because nothing could go wrong here, right? Also, we're at the 30 minute mark. And generally, you can tell if a movie's gonna be good or bad by the 30 minute mark. Or at least, that's when I can tell, like, definitively. I would say, so far... Granted, because there is still 57 minutes and 18 seconds left, that it is not a horrible movie per se, but it does lack substance, and it's kind. It's pretty boring. Um, the accents, specifically of Janice, are a little bit hard to understand, but that's what subtitles were made for. I just don't like to read when I'm watching a movie, so I don't have mine on. And the acting I don't like I don't like um the um Janice is acting here, but you know, it her acting does not ruin the entire movie. Um the writing it's okay, I've seen better, but I have definitely seen worse. And the direction, it's pretty average in terms of directing, um, even now. Some, you know, 50 years later. So, yeah. It, I, at this point, I would say... If you really like sci-fi, go for it. If you're eh on sci-fi or don't like sci-fi, don't bother. So. And it's also 69 years since this movie was made. So, okay. Cool. So... Um, Dr. Muller and Patrick want to talk to the brain, but brains can't talk. So, and Janice thinks it's insane, but she doesn't matter because she's a woman. No, really, that's how they're treating her, but this is the 40s. Okay, so, they... 
A human can learn Morse code, yes. A brain how would you how would you know if they knew it? Right? Or I mean, you know, whatever. Either way, they don't teach the brain Morse code. Because that would be stupid. What they do, or Patrick does, to be specific, is he, through like a series of tubes, he feeds the brain blood plasma. Now, whose blood it is, it doesn't say. But, with the blood plasma, the brain now speaks telepathically with Patrick. So, I'm gonna assume it's Patrick's own blood, because that would make the most sense. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Because it's pretty stupid. To get even stupider, um... Donovan's brain, because it can telepathically talk to Patrick, and the brain and Patrick knew this, um, although Doctor and Janice don't believe Patrick, because who would, because it's stupid. Um, the brain has essentially taken over Patrick. Ah, uh, yep. It may be an overused plot, and it is, but it's not even a good plot. But, oh well. I mean, I mean, I guess if, if like, somehow switching brains you know, in in most cartoons, that's even, it is still stupid, but it's better than what's going on here where a brain is controlling, a single brain is controlling another human with, when the human still has his brain. <sighs> Janice gets the idea to basically turn off the brain. Which is basically done by a switch because the brain is only alive because of a current. <sighs> Except it doesn't work. Because if it did, that would be the end of our movie. Uh, it So the brain is still alive and still controlling Patrick. <sighs> so basically the only way to free Patrick is to demolish the brain completely. Which Janice wants because she loves Patrick, and Mueller wants, does not want, sorry, because he's a dick. Um, and I also mentioned at the very beginning how Mueller loves Janice, but Janice loves Patrick. That's not really the case. It implied, but then it went nowhere. So, I don't know, I'm gonna go with no. Because Mueller's a dick. <laughs>